Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to show you how I make this delicious stew chicken. Because a long time, I'm going to make a stew chicken. So <laughs> let's get into it. Super easy and simple recipe. Again, make sure you adjust the salt and season to your preference. Y'all know I'm pregnant, so I have to be careful with certain ingredients that I add to this dish. So right here, I have my wings washed and ready to go. I'm going to add my green seasoning paste. You already know this has the parsley, the pepper, the habanero, the garlic, and um, yeah. So you want to mix it up. I'm also going to link below the video of me making the green paste so you can check that out in the description box. These are the spices that I use to season the meat. I did not use a lot of salt. Make sure you put salt on your chicken and you're good to go. And this is what I use. This has salt, so I didn't need to put any other like salt sodium on here. So after I added that, you already know the holidays are coming. So I had to get a bottle of browning to make my fruit. And I had some left side aside to use it here versus browning the sugar. Y'all know I always brown the sugar in the skillet. But today I'm taking a shortcut and just going to use the browning. Um, and this is how it looks. Nice and seasoned and ready to go. So halfway through the cooking time of the chicken, I'm going to add my shallots, my peppers, my carrots, tomatoes, and fresh thyme. And this is also going to add a lot of body and flavor to the gravy sauce, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, so to my big old skillet, because I have about two pounds of wings, I melted down some butter. You could use oil, olive oil, coconut oil. I prefer butter. And I'm going to add all the wings into the skillet, spread them out. Make sure your skillet is hot. Your skillet needs to be hot. Do you see how my skillet is smoking? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then you put all the wings in the skillet and cover it. I leave it alone on low heat for about 15 minutes so it can make its own juice and get the chicken going and everything. Then you want to add some broth. You could use chicken broth or vegetable broth. And then I'm going to add the veggies. Once I mix that in, I also tasted it and I wanted it a little more spicy. So I added some more of the green seasoning paste and i was good to go after that it was seasoned enough for me but this is the point where you also want to taste it and see you know if you want something else i added enough broth so that the chicken could cook down nicely and be good to go and i'm gonna cover it up and let it continue cooking until it looks like this uh, after i added the broth i did put my heat on medium heat so that the liquid can reduce, everything can get nice and thick, and the chicken is nice and tender and ready to go. Remember the chicken already cooked for 15 minutes before we added the liquid, and you know, wings cook really fast, so it's not a big deal. So this is how the chicken looks, nice and thick gravy. The chicken is tender, falling off the bone. It looks so, so good. It was so delicious, <laughs> and this is just how I made it today, you know? I have several other recipes. I'll link them below if you want to check them out. But today, this is how I made it, and that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. This is how I plated it, plated it up. I have the wings right there, some rice. That was just some peppers and scallions. I sauteed down in butter and added the rice, and that's it. And um, some plantains. So, you know, but this can go with anything. Mashed potatoes, rice on peas, banana, dumpling, <laughs> whatever you want to put it with and you're good to go so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video bye